Jack Daly was an all New England center of the 1940 Williams College football team and co-founder of the Eastern Massachusetts chapter of the National Football Foundation and a respected football official whose assignments included the Sugar Bowl, the Army-Navy game, and the legendary 29-29 tie between undefeated Harvard and Yale in 1968. Jack was also a renowned storyteller and humorist whose stories of the people of Wooded Pitlock, Maine entertained generations of people. He passed away in 2011 at the age of 92, and the Jack Riddle chapter chose to name this award in Jack's honor. Eli Gardner has served as head coach of the Stonehill College football program for the past two seasons after serving as an assistant in the program since 2009. In his last year as an assistant with the program, Coach Gardner was named the Gridiron Club of Greater Boston's 2015 Division II Assistant Coach of the Year. Prior to joining the Stonehill staff, Coach Gardner spent a year coaching at his alma mater, Western New England, and to introduce the 2018 Jack Daly Award recipient, please welcome Coach Eli Gardner. Before I get started, I, I just want to, uh, again, continue to give thanks to, to Roger Crosley, the National Football Foundation, the Jack Reynolds Chapter, uh, the Eastern Mass Chapter, uh, for hosting such an amazing banquet uh, and over 40 years of recognizing these amazing student athletes um, that we see before me. So thank you, gentlemen. Uh, it's my honor and privilege to stand before you today. Uh, and introduce this year's Jack Daly Award recipient uh, for Academics, Citizenship, and Football uh, to Matt Foltz of Stonehill College. Uh, Matt was a four-year starting quarterback for us at Stonehill, um, and obviously that's arguably the, the most important position on the field. Um, he was the first two-time captain uh, in, program, in our program since 1999. Um, the way we vote captains at Stonehill is somewhat unique. Uh, I make every player come in individually into my office, look me in the eye, and, and tell me who they want to lead them for this upcoming fall. Um, and, and Matt was, was a near unanimous selection both years, uh, his junior and senior year, which just kind of speaks to the presence that he had amongst his peers. Um, Matt graduates setting school records for passing yards, completions, completion percentage, He's also the first quarterback in program history to throw for over 2,000 yards in the season in three consecutive seasons. Um, he did all of this while graduating earlier today, uh, magna cum laude with a 3.7 GPA and an economics degree from Stonehill College. Uh, Matt was also a TA this past summer uh, for a Harvard finance professor. Um, he was also a TA uh, in Stonehill's economic department, uh, helping hold study halls um, and individual sessions with students. Um, Matt at Stonehill College defined what it meant to be a student athlete. Uh, he led his peers in the classroom, on the field, and in the community, and he's a very, uh, very deserving recipient of this award. Um, off the field uh, and out of the classroom, Matt was uh, very present in a, in a lot of our community service activities that we do as a college and numerous ones that he did individually. Um, we have a partnership with Trinity Catholic Academy in Brockton, Mass, which is a Catholic school, uh, kindergarten through fourth grade. Matt was undoubtedly the most popular Stonehill football player that participated in that because he's six foot seven and he's a quarterback. Uh, unfortunately for Matt, he never drew the recess card. He was always in the art room in the little kid chairs. Uh, and at six foot seven, your knees stand kind of tall uh, in those chairs. Um, he also volunteered for my brother's keeper in Easton, Mass. Uh, where he helped delivering food and furniture for those in need. Uh, Matt left uh, an undoubtedly lasting effect on our program and our academic institution at Stonehill College. And like I said earlier, he defined what it meant to be a student athlete at Stonehill. Uh, he excelled tremendously in the classroom. He excelled tremendously on the football field. Um, and he was someone that his teammates could rely on being a fierce, fierce competitor and a fierce, fierce friend to them over his four years. Um, and he left Stonehill football and Stonehill College in a much better place than when he found it. And hopefully we can live up to the standard that he set for us over these past four seasons. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, it's my honor to present you the 2018 Jack Daly Award recipient for academics, citizenship, and football uh, to quarterback from Stonehill College, Matt Foltz. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, so first off, I want to thank the uh, Eastern Massachusetts chapter of the National Football Foundation for uh, honoring me with the Jack Daly Award. Um, it means a lot to me that uh, they selected me out of everyone else. Um, so thinking back to uh, people who have had an effect on me, uh, people I can thank, there's thousands of people who have had a positive effect and thousands of people that have contributed to my success. Um, but I think it really breaks down in about four groups um, or individuals that really had a lasting effect and helped me get to where I am today. Uh, first off, I think it's coaches, uh, Coach Gardner, some of our other assistant coaches, Coach Moody, Coach Petraka, um, and our, one of our former head coaches, Coach Talley. I think all the experiences that they put me through and challenged me in certain ways, it taught me not just about football, it taught me how to be a man on and off the field. Um, it just taught me about life, and I think that's one of the reasons that I was able to be successful in other aspects. Second, I want to thank my teammates. Uh, I know none of them are here, but uh, i got to give them a shout out because nothing is possible without them, and uh, I love every single one of them. Third, got to thank my parents. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I thank you guys enough, uh, but you guys are my biggest supporters, and you're my biggest fans. Uh, I think it really goes to show the last four years they've traveled seven plus hours every single weekend uh, to see me play, and I know it's not not easy when you uh, get off work at Friday afternoon and you're leaving at 6 o'clock at night and rolling in at 1 in the morning and then having to get up and come to the game. So that means a lot, that means a lot to me. <clears throat> and then last thing is the uh, professors at Stonewall College, and one specific uh, Professor Kazemi who really took me under his wing and mentored me um, and taught me a lot about just how to be successful as a person, like putting in uh, the hours, put in the time, and it's a lot more than just, <coughs> there's, there's a lot more to it. Last thing I want to leave all these uh, high school scholar athletes with two pieces of advice. So moving forward, um, nothing's going to go as planned. You're going to think you're going to go into college and take it over and do all this and that. You're going to face adversity. I'm going to be straight up with you. But the adversity is not what matters. What matters is how you respond to it. Every successful person I've ever seen is the person who responds to the adversity in a positive way and just keeps their head down and keeps going. Second, uh, hard work pays off. Um, I'm really a firm believer. I think I've heard this, I don't know who it was, but if you give 100% effort in everything you do, good things will happen. So just know that, guys, moving forward. If you just give 100% effort, everything you do, whether it's in the classroom, on the field, Anything, just give 100% effort and you will be successful. Thank you.